you'd be rather handicapped if the underground railways weren't sure of getting a round wheel or two on the move. But thanks to this foundry at Letchworth near London, stronger but lighter wheels are now available for the new train. And if you've ever noticed a wheel with a drawn expression, this is where it's drawn. The pattern is placed in a mould box and sand shoveled in. Then, by means of pneumatic jolting machines, the sand is brought into close contact with the pattern and bumped down. After the pattern is removed, skilled workmen with an eye for detail and a hand that's made for the job smooth off the surface with a trowel. For where there's a wheel, there's a way. The mould is given a coat of heat-resisting silica paint and it's ready for the next operation. When the mould is dried, the two halves are clamped together and filled with molten steel at a temperature of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of it is poured into a ladle and taken away for chemical analysis to make sure that it's flawless. These wheels have to carry human freight, so they can't take any risks. When the wheels have been cooled, the test projections on which the official inspector has placed his approving stamp are removed by oxyacetylene cutters. The wheels go on to the powerful lathes, which bore out the centre holes and turn the rims. The machines are so finely adjusted that any error is practically impossible. The wheels are put through a number of severe tests and are finally tapped for their ring. This is the steel that's 40% stronger than ordinary steel. It's helping the underground engineers to solve the problem of quicker and lighter transport. Getting around isn't a problem to young puppies, 